Welcome back to another um, watercolour video. So today's video is going to be something really different. I wanted to do a really sort of fun, um, easy, simple, loose sketch. And you can see I'm using hot press paper. This is Bockingford 140 pound hot press. Um, I'm not really uh, used to using this surface. Um, if you're not aware, watercolour you have um, sort of different, I'd say three different surfaces, but there is, um, depending on the paper that you get, there is more than three. But as standard, there's uh, the cold press, which is, um, it's got a, f a, a fur tooth to it. And then you got the rough, which has a real sort of rough um, tooth to it. And this one, hot press, is more of a smooth surface. So this is perfect for um, use with ink pens, uh, brush pens, um, any other medium like that. And just, just to be aware that the pigment does sit on the surface of the paper. So if you're new to hot press paper, then maybe you should uh, start off at, a, at less of an angle if you, if you paint at an angle. Um, so yeah, it's just it's just one of those things uh, the the pigment will run as it sits on the surface. There's less tooth for it to go in. So um, I know a lot of people use um, hot press paper for fine details, sort of botanical sketches, flowers, and things like that with lots of fine details. Um, but it's something I wanted to try for my pens and inks and stuff like that, just to have a different. Um, different surface to work on just for different um, different results so it's really sort of trial and error but I wanted to do something really simple really fun loose and um, a nice sort of illustration type um, painting You may notice um, there's a few different pens I like to use. Uh, I've just switched to the Faber Castell. Um, so I do have, I think, three different types of pens. Um, there are loads on the market, but I do like these Faber Castells. And they have different sort of grades, different sizes of nibs. Um, I do like to use the uh, 0.2 millimeter. And then for the larger, areas that I need to cover. There's the 0.5 and I like to use the uh, uni pins as well as well as the um, I think they call the art line and there's also different colors. I do have a set of uh, sepia pens which are quite nice to use for a change so it really is uh, quite quite nice to use pens 
um, and they also have a, a dipping pen and some sort of little jars of ink which are really really nice if you if you're doing bigger piece of work bigger paintings and need lots of coverage um, the pots of ink they do last a, a really really long time so I would recommend if you're uh, into uh, ink drawing um, to invest in sort of the bottles I've got Windsor and Newton and I've got Jackson's own brands um, which which are completely fine I think as long as they're um, permanent ink so you can use them with watercolor and they're not going to move or um, smudge then they're perfectly fine and I also have the brush pens which are water soluble so you can use them with uh, water and sort of blend and smooth and um, have all those things going on so it really is a minefield there's there's lots out there um, but there's there's many things that you can try and uh, I think just the smooth paper again um, is perfect for inks and drawing. You can get these uh, nicer lines. They're, they're not disturbed with the tooth of the paper. Um, and it's also better for your nibs, better for your pens as well. You may wonder to yourself um, why so many YouTubers um, ask you to like the videos. Um, it, it really does does help the channel to grow. It, it helps the the algorithm, which um, sends out the videos impressions to more people. So it really does help when when you hit that like, um, when you um, comment on videos that, that I make. Um, so I really do appreciate all the comments and all the um, likes that you give me. So that's that's why I asked for uh, likes, just to get help me to uh, to grow, help my channel to uh, get seen by more and more people. Um, so it really does make a difference, and I really do appreciate all those that do um, come to my channel and leave uh, all those lovely comments and, and likes and um, all those wonderful things um, so I, I really want to thank you for all those um, all those that do um, take time out to comment and, and uh, like so this is uh, coming to the end of this video we'll take a, a closer look um, it really really is a, a loose um, almost an illustration it, it reminds me of um, something you'd find in a, in a book children's book or something like that um, I do like those sort of Enid Blyton type sketches and um, those sort of style um, you can see I'm really celebrating the uh, wonky lines and um, just just imperfect um, sketch marks it really it really doesn't make a much of a difference it really doesn't take away from the painting it gives it a little bit of a life of its own um, Please do leave me a comment, let me know what you think. 
And that's it. I hope you like this one. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.